Good afternoon. Right now it's calm and sunny underneath a high over New South Wales. After a cold morning, Canberra's had a low of one degree two mornings in a row now. Coonabarabran was minus one, below freezing for the first time since October. Further south, there were quite a few warnings for strong winds in Victoria and Tasmania and fire weather warnings in parts of South Australia. With the cool change, there'll be a band of showers moving across Victoria tomorrow. In Tasmania, rain will ease to showers in the morning and the winds will become lighter in the afternoon. Over the top end, there'll be showers and storms. Here's where and how much rain is expected during the next 24 hours. None in Sydney, however. It'll be mostly sunny with light winds and a top of 25. Between 2 and 8 millimetres is forecast in Melbourne tomorrow, easing as the day progresses. 19 degrees, the winds will ease during the afternoon. 28 and mostly sunny with light winds in Brisbane. Uluru for the Royal Visit will be sunny and a warm 32 degrees. Mostly sunny and 20 in Canberra. Early rain clearing and 17 for Hobart. In Adelaide, an early shower or two will clear. Perth will have sunny days this week. An afternoon shower or storm for Darwin. On Wednesday, the showers over northern Queensland and the Northern Territory will become heavy and there'll be showers in parts of southeastern Australia. So expect rainfall in these areas. In the Northern Territory, more than 50 millimetres around Gove. Most of the capitals will be fine on Wednesday, just a morning shower in Melbourne, top of 19 degrees, an afternoon shower in Darwin, 33, and there may be a late shower in Hobart. I'll see you tomorrow, Davina. Thank you, Lavinia. Well, let's return to our breaking news out of Queensland now. And a rescue helicopter is working with water police, searching the ocean off the Gold Coast for a woman missing. We hear that she is in her mid-30s. Now, she went for a swim around midday and was reported missing about 90 minutes after that, after failing to reach the shore. So far, the only sign of her is a sarong and a pair of thongs that has been found at the Corumban Beach. Now, those items were found by surf lifesavers who are assisting with the search. Now, for our Queensland viewers, there will be more on this developing story coming up at six o'clock. For now, though, that is Nine's afternoon news for this Easter Monday. Our next major bulletin is at six o'clock. I'm Davina Smith. Have a great evening. We hope to see you tomorrow.